Hello Taurus. Welcome my friends to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So Taurus, this karmic cycle baby, let's see, what is it all about? Too many cards coming out. No, 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 let's calm down. Calm down Taurus. All right, so as we get started, this is going to be about a you know, probably a fairly important karmic cycle in your life if it's going to come out in a general reading. Now, you could be, I'm saying this for everybody, you could be at the very beginning of this karmic cycle, just kind of entering it. That's very unlikely, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, or you could be right in the middle of it. Or you could be approaching the end of it. And, okay, so the reason I think it's very unlikely that most of you are going to be entering this karmic cycle is because um, we usually don't know when we are. And I don't think spirit's gonna give you an indication that you are because when you are closing off, so this is what can happen sometimes. If I'm doing a reading for somebody and even if I'm trying to read myself in a certain situation, there are times when blocks come up in a reading and information is not provided. And I feel that that is because you are going through something that is very important on a karmic level. And it is about you have to make the choice. You have to make the choice. You cannot have outside influence in this. You can ask for strength, guidance. You will get that. But you will not be given the answer to what you should do. You will be given the strength if you ask for help to get yourself through it. But you have to do it. Now, um, I don't remember why I was saying that. You have to bear with me. I've been, uh, it's, yeah, I've been very busy the last couple of weeks. Um, so, my mind is wandering. Um, with this, we're going to, so, okay, so that's why, thank you, just have patience, all right? I'm human too, so have patience. Um, that is why you may not realize you're going into this karmic cycle. Okay, so I want to say that this plot probably plays out or will resonate for most people who are in it and kind of coming to the end of it. They're like, okay, okay, okay. Because if you knew, you wouldn't go. None of us would go. You're like, what? This job is going to be a big karmic lesson? Oh, shit, no, 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 no. I'm not going, no, I'm not going to, no, 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 no. No, I'm not going to do that. Now, karmic less well, no, well, the cycles can be, you could have a good karmic cycle. <laughs> you can have a good karmic cycle. <laughs> you absolutely can. But I think all of us here on earth have more difficult karmic cycles than good ones because there's a lot to learn. We're all figuring this out. So let's get started. We're going to find out what the karmic cycle is. I'm using or mostly oracle cards. I will use one tarot deck for um, some clarification. We're going to find out what this karmic cycle is that you're in, what it's about, and then we're going to find out what your strength is. What is your strength in this cycle? What you should really focus on and utilize in this cycle to be successful in it. And then what your weakness is, so what you need to be careful about. And then the end is the best because the end is what the reward is for you in this cycle. There's always some sort of reward, whether it's an energetic shift, it's clearing that pattern, you'll never do that again. It's opening your mind up to new possibilities. It's finding what you always wanted, whatever that is. So, I know someone's probably gonna put in the comments, the timestamp for this reading is at four. So, let's find out. What is this karmic cycle? I'm being compelled to continue shoving. A card came out. Okay, I can see why. One card came out on the first shuffle and I was like, no, no, you're supposed to keep shuffling. You got three. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm going to show you the first two. So patience is the very. This is the most prominent. We're going to show this on its own. Patience. This card came out all on its own on the first shuffle. So patience. Why does that seem like a funny card to get for Taurus? You're probably the most patient sign of them all. What the heck? But there's obviously something that you're impatient about. It's got to be something that means enough to you that you've become impatient on it. My bovine friends are impatient. You've got to learn patience. What the heck? Maybe that's your whole life cycle. 
You guys are doing it well. I don't have to say you're so patient. Okay, then you got the world. And this links to the patience card for me. And the rest and rejuvenation. <laughs> Which to me is like Taurus too. You guys totally know how to like, I'm going to stay home today. I'm going to Netflix and chill. <laughs> or like, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so with the patience in the world, I feel like there's some sort of opportunity here. Whoa, oh, 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 here it comes, here it comes. Okay, yeah, okay. I think uh, the message I'm getting is a world of opportunity here and you feel like you've missed it. You feel like you've missed a world of opportunity somehow. Oh, this is going to be a challenging cycle. Now I see it, Taurus. This would be challenging for anybody because it's something you really want. It's something you really want and I feel like it was there in your grasp and now you feel like it's not and you're impatient because I feel like it's almost as if, well, now there's nothing you can do about it, but you just have to wait and see how everything plays out. And it's like, huh? <laughs> no, 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 not now, not this. Okay, arrest and rejuvenation. <laughs> this is a different, this, this will not be Netflix and chill for you, I feel like. I feel like you will be anxious and bothered. Or you are, you're going there, I don't know. Tell me where you are in this karmic cycle. Sorry, I'm moving my little stones around. Tell me where you are in this karmic cycle. The world. I want to pull out tarot right away on that. That's why you're impatient. Now that's interesting because I, I like I said, I would um, specifically, if anybody asked me just on the street, Cindy, what would you say is the most patient sign in the zodiac? I mean, probably Taurus. Yeah. Just like right away, like, yep, yep, Taurus. And I was, they would say, what is the most impatient sign in the zodiac? Like, yeah, it's Aries. Yep. That, like, this is like a given. I would think, you know, when you first see those cards, like, are we doing Aries or Taurus's reading here? But we're doing Taurus's. And I know why. Because this is part of, this is one of a bigger cycle of you. This is what you are learning in this journey is patience. And yes, you do do it so well, but there's so many different nuances to it. So many different ways of being patient. You know, this is a different one. This is something that is the world to you. It's a world of opportunity. And I feel like it was there. And maybe you're second guessing how you approached it or didn't approach it, went for it or didn't go for it, had it, let it go, whatever it was. And now there's nothing you can do but wait. There's nothing you can do but wait. But in that waiting, you will learn to heal yourself, which is really good. You will learn to hear, heal yourself on a very spiritual and cosmic level. But you don't want to, which is so funny about this world. So this is a whole new level of Taurus patience. What's come out here? Oh, the Ace of Swords. Oh. This is, I'm asking about this world card. There's a whole new truth. You have a whole new truth and clarity about something that perhaps you didn't. Maybe you thought, yeah, this is this is a pretty good opportunity. This is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I feel like somehow it's out of your control, whether it's a situation or circumstances that have played out, you have no access to this now, to whatever this worldly thing was that you really wanted, but in that, you have now gained all this clarity and understanding about it. And you're like, holy mother, that's what I want. But. <laughs> Tough. Okay, I'm coming from an Aries level here for you. I'm like so sympathetic to Aries. Like, dang. I would be like eating chocolate and cookies nonstop. What am I going to do? I can't do anything. 
Oh, see, I can, yeah, yeah. What was I watching a video? It was so cute. Oh, it was um, how different zodiacs uh, handle breakups. Oh my God, Taurus and Cancer were so cute. Taurus and Cancer were so cute. So Taurus would need like a Cancer friend and they would sit together on the couch in their pajamas and eat a bucket of ice cream together. Oh, that's so sweet, isn't that so Taurus? And then Aries, which I'm an Aries. I would like, I would wreck stuff apparently. I would destroy, but I, I wouldn't do that. I would seem like an awful lot of effort. I would just go for a run maybe or, yeah, I don't know. But this is all about you. And this truth and clarity about something. I, I'm not shuffling anymore. No, 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 no. We need to get into the meat, the meat and potatoes of this. Yeah, you like that. The meat and potatoes. I just, you know, to get a whole bunch of views on Taurus, I should use a lot of food analogy. <laughs> food analogy. So Taurus, what is the meat and juicy potato slathered in gravy? What is it? What is your strength in this? What is the strength in this buffet of a reading? What is the strength in this, Taurus? What is your strength? What an interesting card. Guilt. Guilt is your strength in this. Interesting. Through guilt, we recognize um, perhaps the role that we played in a situation. Through guilt, through feeling guilt, you may also release ego. So if you are feeling guilt about something, maybe feeling guilty even towards yourself, like I allowed myself to miss this opportunity. How did I do that? Okay, well, to be fair, you somehow didn't get the clarity and the understanding until this opportunity seemed to kind of get out of your, your reach, your grasp. So you didn't have that. So don't be hard on yourself. But this guilt is removing your ego. This guilt is removing your ego. This guilt is allowing you to see how you played your own role in whatever this is, whatever you feel like you've missed out on, which is quite, um, that's quite profound. Like that's very good for you. Yeah, like that's awesome. Okay, so your weakness. It'll be funny if it's something like positive, like guilt seems like a negative thing, but <clears throat> what is your weakness? in this karmic cycle, Taurus. What is your weakness in this karmic cycle? Something flipped. Oh, wow, little hairs. I need to get my hair cut. Forgiveness, forgiveness is your weakness. Huh, that's gonna be interesting. I think I'm gonna pull cards on, well, I know I would anyways. I'm gonna pull cards on your, um, there, I wanna see the words, so hard. On your guilt and forgiveness. So guilt is your strength and forgiveness is your weakness. Now who are you not being able to forgive? Is it yourself? Because if you harness, so the guilt is supposed to be used in a positive way here. And that's what your spirit guides are telling you. That's what the universe is saying. Use the guilt in a very positive way because you now have the clarity. Don't be hard on yourself about this. Now you know. Now you know what you didn't know, right? Now you know what you didn't know. So don't be too hard on yourself with this. But whatever this guilt is, allow it to, to strip off the ego. Allow it to allow you to see what your role was in this situation for you or what your role is in this situation for you. Now your weakness is forgiveness. Who do you need to forgive here? I, I think that's good. I'm gonna ask that right away. <clears throat> Perhaps you are being too hard on yourself. If you are being too hard on yourself, you're gonna go backwards in this cycle because you're being told that guilt is your strength. So recognize it for what it is and what it tells you without wallowing in it too long on the sofa in your pajamas with your Cancerian friend eating that bucket of ice cream, right? <clears throat> you need an Aries friend because we're gonna take you out and have fun. 
you need like an Aries or a Gemini. You need like one of the signs on either side of you. You need like an Aries or a Gemini. I'm like, Taurus, let's go. Let's go and forget about everything that you're feeling guilty of. That's what you need. Wouldn't that be more fun? Because you can eat ice cream out of the house. You don't have to sit in your pajamas. Yeah. Okay, forgiveness. Who does Taurus need to forgive here? Who does Taurus need to forgive? Who does Taurus need to forgive? Who does Taurus need to forgive? Oh. There's two. Oh, oh. There's two. <clears throat> Interesting. There's two people, and one of them is you. The King of Pentacles. One of them is you. So you do need to forgive yourself. Oh, that's really beautiful. Look it. I just see these two puppies. This puppy is kissing this puppy. It's almost like a little spirit guide of the universe giving you a kiss saying, you're okay, you're good, you're doing good. And I just love yourself. And this little one's kissing himself. Like forgive yourself, right? Forgiveness of friend and of self. Now, this is interesting, the King of Swords. Who is that to you? There's someone else here that you need to forgive. Now, the King of Swords is um, a pretty cut and dry kind of dude. The King of Swords also holds an awful lot of truth here. Should be, and I want to say this person does function on truth and clarity. They have a nice... Um, crow sitting on their shoulder there, kind of communicating to them through spirit. So this person uses their intellectual mind, they use their intuition, they combine the two of them, they understand the truth, they see the big picture. This is a very powerful individual. Pretty cut and dry with them, you know where you stand. You could be dealing with a Gemini, um, Aquarius or Libra energy. And of course, I think this is you, but it could be, um, if it's not, it could be a Capricorn or Virgo. So you need to forgive. Forgiveness is your weakness. And I think forgiveness for yourself, towards yourself. Remember, you didn't know what you know now. And now you know. What is, um, let's get an idea this world to you. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if this is appropriate, if I'm just being too nosy. Because you guys probably know what it is. <laughs> like, I want to know. <laughs> I'm so nosy. I kind of am. But I'm really not. I'm only in this level. I really don't want to know people's shit. Like, in real life, I'm like, I, I don't want to know. People tell me anyways. I'm like, oh my god. I don't know. Maybe that's, I've read somewhere that that has to do with being empathic, and I'm very empathic. And um, oh, people will come up to me and just tell me their sob story. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I don't even know you. Who are you? I had one mom come up to me at the school once. This is a couple years ago. Oh, she was so unhappy with like everybody. And she's telling me all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. And I, I heard, I felt it like I could feel her anger and her negativity that she had towards like the kids teacher, the administration, the, like everybody. And I was like, oh, it's painful. Like, and then listening to her, I was like, you know, you're your own problem. I was thinking this, thinking this. My Aries Gemini mind was like, you know, you're your own problem. You should be the one teaching your kid how to understand the alphabet at home as well. Like you do need to do both. I don't know, anyways. So. I'm kind of off on a tan. I have not slept well in a couple of weeks, so I am all over the place. <laughs> the world, that's where we're going. Why am I so nosy? Why am I so nosy? Should we pull a card out on that? Okay. The world, what is this world that you feel like is a missed opportunity somehow? What is this world to Taurus? What was the world? What is the world? I don't know. Maybe they're not going to tell me. Nothing's coming out. Like, Cindy, you're not asking for them. You're asking for you. Maybe. I am totally honest. I'm a very honest tarot reader. I just need to know. Oh, the Knight of Wands. 
Okay, I want to say it's something that you have a lot of passion, desire, and creativity towards. It comes from a very primal part of you, is what this is to you. See, there's a good message here, because maybe you didn't realize how deep this goes for you. And it's about action. That's what this is to you. It's about taking the action. But you didn't know what you knew, what you know now. I mean, I gotta sympathize with you on that one, but this is a karmic cycle, so it's a lesson. You didn't know that information, isn't that funny? What I talked about earlier about blocks and karmic cycles. You didn't know that stuff because you're on the journey of this karmic cycle, but now you do know it. And now you're like, dang, that is my passion, my desire, my, my creativity, that is my... It's a little bit like a leap of faith because for me, the Knight of Wands is very much about the dynamic energy of a person that takes calculated risks. Be and they'll take it because they've thought about it, they've looked at it, they have a, a basic instinct built into them on it, and they're like, no one else is gonna take that risk, I'm going for it. And I know the reward far outweighs that risk. There you go. See, you're not gonna get that sitting on the couch eating ice cream. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I wanna know, <laughs> Taurus wants to know, he's <laughs> so nosy, I wanna know why. Okay, the King of Swords, what did they do? Why are you so, <laughs> getting all nosy in here. Oh my gosh. The Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I know, I know. The Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. So, to you, this King of Swords harnessed your happiness, your ever after, the possibility of that, and it's complete disappointment. Complete loss, didn't happen. To you, the King of Swords became that, or made the situation that, somehow. You went from the Ten of Cups, everything, happy family, happy life, happy, 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 to all alone with the spill cups. All right, so what are you, why are you, um, okay, because that was the forgiveness, right? So what is the forgiveness that you need to do for you? Why? Why? <laughs> why? The forgiveness for you. <gasps> Look at you. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It is you. I knew it, Taurus. It is you. Because A, the Page of Pentacles, I feel like um, you didn't know how to, you were working on it, you're not sure, but you never moved. You didn't move, right? Look at the difference. The, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight of the deck. I know it's your knight, but it's freaking slow, man. And this one's not. This one knows what it wants. It knows you're going to get stuff that nobody else is going to get if you go for it. But if you're always waiting... You're always waiting and thinking and trying to learn and not doing, you're not gonna get it. You gotta go and get it sometimes. You just gotta go and do it. Take the risk, live a little, right? What, what's the worst that could happen? Just saying. This is becoming a personal reading. <laughs> so that I know very well. What's um, the reward here, Taurus? <clears throat> Taurus, what is the reward? So let's get right into it. What is the reward? Oh boy, boy, surfacing. Let me see, surfacing, surfacing. I wanna say there's a new emotional level to you here. This karmic cycle is about allowing a new emotional level to come out of you. It's almost like seeing colors that you never saw before. Seeing everything like you never saw it before. It's a whole new perspective. It's just a whole new perspective on you and the world. It's almost like, I have seen that video circulating. I think it's a guy who was colorblind. And he saw his son's red hair for the first time. He put something on. It's kind of like that. It's like there's this color that existed. Everyone is, well, not everyone. 
there's people that see this color, using it as an example, this shade, this dynamic, it could be completely true. We don't know what other people see, right? Like, you might see red, and maybe you only see one or two shades of red. You're like, yeah, that's red, that's red. But then someone else, like, yeah, I see about 50 shades of red. What are you talking about? I was, I was actually glad I said red, not gray, after I said that. But you are now going to see those 50 shades of red. It's almost like a new sense. Sensory perception, too. A new, yeah. Like a sensory perception. Having an, a bit of an, an extra sensory perception. But to see it where you wouldn't have jumped before, you'll learn to jump. You'll know that opportunity is there for me. I'm going to go for it. That's that. Let's get one from the tarot with that surfacing. Any more information about the surfacing for Taurus? Oh yeah, see, it is. Look at the Seven of Cups. It's about having a lot of choices and options and dreams and so removing the mask too and seeing more clearly. Mm, right? Yeah. All right, there you go. That's an interesting karmic cycle. I want to say it's almost as if um, this is a two cycles. It is like a double cycle. I feel like you're in a double karmic cycle here. Your one is based on a whole new level of patience. It's a different level of patience that you've exhibited before. And I feel as if the level of patience that you were exhibiting before was more of a stuck energy. It would not necessarily be have been defined as patience. It was more stuck, more being apprehensive about moving forward or going towards it or there was something holding you back, almost on a subconscious level. And now you want to go for it, but you can't. You have to wait. And that's the patience. So there you go. But don't worry. When you get to the end, you're going to see things in a whole. You're going to see all new shades of red and other colors and other things. Like it's just a beautiful perspective that you didn't have before seeing things within people that you didn't see before, seeing things within yourself that you didn't see before. There you go, Taurus. So thank you guys so much for that reading. Until next week, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.